viewers well it's saturday and mikey's come over from wales uh to come out metal detector with us for the weekend nice to meet you uh mikey yeah and i believe you come from a little welsh village called tipbury tipbury and you're you're running for the mayor of tipbury mayor of tipbury so he could be the future mayor of tipbury yeah and uh yeah, he's come over to go metal detecting all day Saturday, but we were on the lash last night. So what time is it? Um, half five. It's half five on a Saturday evening, and that's how much drink we had last night. We're going out for a couple of hours. We'll see if we can get... We've got we'll get... to get them a video. Yes. Yes. Shout out to who? Um, all my constituents of Tipbury. And uh, the... Women's Institute of Tipbury. Yeah, Women's Institute, yeah. The Tipbury Women. Tipbury Women. All right. All right, we're both just having a walk around with our Deus Wands tonight. And uh, Mikey's first off the mark. A nice bag, see all that? Yeah. Have a nice crest on that, Mikey. Interesting, big old one. Mm. Well done, mate. Cheers. You just uh, mind the bunt a minute while I go to the car and get his chicken balls. I forgot them. Yeah. I got chuck. He's not at today. Right. He's at his tablets in some of the chicken balls. Have another one or two, mate. Because he don't eat or even wake up properly. It's all like late afternoon sometimes. And I know it's 5 30 now. This is the first food he's had today. But he's bankrupting me. They're only £30 a month, they're £50 a month, £55 a month. And now his eye drops are like 40 quid a month after I spent over 100 getting the first lots the other day. So yeah, we need to find some treasure bunt. I need to get it sold so we can keep you in, in uh, the way you're accustomed, mate, my lovely. It's got a piece of a fibula. So um, they could have gone down. Oh, it's, though, isn't it? and it's, worse. it's just a bit of scrap, mate. Is it? Yeah, but it's nice. At least you found. At least it was a signal, mate. Mm. Fair play. I think it's only a shotty. Not even a button. Very weird signal, though. Seventy-five with a grunt, and then when I cracked the dirt off the top, it went up to ninety-five. So this ground is definitely masking the good signals. Well, that just banged in on the dais, uh, 93 or so, bang, bang. Uh, just a bit of a buckle, no no great age. Stunning evening out here, though. Today. It's really hot still. It's like 10 past 6 in the evening. Still well hot. I don't, I'm not great with the heat anyway, so... Yeah, this will do me a few hours when it's hot like this in the late evening. And the bunt. There's a surface find. I did pick it up with my metal detector, but I think it's only a two pence piece. Yes, it's a coin. Big balloon up there. Must be nice hanging up there in a the summer's evening. They don't appear to be moving very fast. Okay, so we are thinking Mikey's got a Roman grot here. It's certainly got all the looks of one. I know to anybody who didn't know what a Roman grot looked like, they'd be like, well, that's just a piece of tap. But, you know, if I was digging Roman grots and that come up, I would definitely class that as one of them. I think this is the first confirmed Roman off the field, Mikey. There we go. So you can take that back to Tipbury with you, mate. Tipbury, yeah. And uh, put it in your... You find cabinet to show the women of Tipbury. I will. Yeah, it's top door. Do you think they'll like that, mate? They will, mate. Yeah. They would like that. Yeah, cool, mate. Right, where's my fucking good Hey, no swearing. Oh. No swearing no more on my channel. Oh. Are you going to bleep that bit out, all right? Yeah. It's the next morning, viewers, and it's sunny again. And uh, Mikey's. Uh, Coming back out to Pab's Field with me. Are you excited, mate? I am. <laughs> You're going to have a little go at the Manticore for a little bit. I will have a go. Show you how easy it is to use. It's an absolute delight. Hopefully it brings you luck, mate. I've got my sun hat on, viewers. Uh, this is fresh out the wash. 
and uh, I had to put two raincoats in the wash, didn't I? Because Buster pissed on them on the back seat yesterday. Well, luckily, it saved my back seat, Mikey. Mm. Now, we've got lots of choices today. There's, it's Sunday. There's loads of rallies on. I always get them free because they like me and my funky videos that I make. There's a banging Roman hotspot 45 minutes up the road on a rally. I cannot be bothered, though. It's too hot. It's too hot, and I've found too much over the years. So I'll just have a little dabble on the Polish field in England with a Welshman. Mm. Have you recovered from your pickled eggs? Drinkings the other night? Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you have any pickled eggs? Uh, you didn't have one? I had one. Oh, <laughs> did you have the last one, the one that Luce wouldn't eat? <laughs> Right, shout out to my new American uh, subscriber, off the top of my head, Pascat, or something like that. Thank you very much for that $20 uh, super thanks yesterday. I know I thanked you in the comments, but Listen. Buster really does cost me a fortune, doesn't he, Mikey? He does. Yeah, and uh, thanks very much, mate. I reckon his coil's a bit off the ground now, look. I can that that coil needs to be cut in the grass, mate. Come on, extend that dais. Right. Ten o'clock, Sunday morning, sun shining. We've had some finds off the field. It doesn't jump out the ground, but let's see if we can get lucky with Bubba. And his magic cart. Auntie, I'll let you out in case you crapped in your cart. And uh, what are you doing now? You're going in the swimming pool. Oh, 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 now he's got all that all wet as well. Ah, oh, he's marvellous, the bunt. Always good value. Always keeps his daddy on his toes. He's doing a bit of this grass uh, while Bunty wakes up. Big bang in 93 there, just a nut, nut job, like me and Bunts are. Trashy as anything here, like mega trash. Uh, I'm convinced there'll be something in the trash though. Flex spout, I wonder what that was. Pull up spout with bales. I'll just put it on speaker here. <laughs> Can you hear that rumble? That's rumbling out the iron. <laughs> Got a small hit there on the left hand side. That means it's a small target. It's going to be a nice silver milled like sixpence or shilling or better in amongst all this trash. This is where we're going to be bothered putting up with it. All the random dots all over the screen. Just trashy little targets on the hole, most of them. I'll give it a go and I'll see if we can pull anything out the trash for 10 minutes. Uh, I've got a signal here, it could be a silver or a copper coin. Let me just show the viewers, don't run away mate. Don't know, it's not as tight now as a dot on the line, it's more spaced out. Could be junk, could be something that just ain't coin shaped. Okay, although I didn't want to be, I was spot on with my final analysis before I dug it. Copper, not coin shaped. So I think that tells you that after two months or so of learning my manticore, I am learning it. And I don't like learning machines, so that proves how easy the manticore is to use. Hey, chopper chop. 
I think Dad's got something finally. It's not much. But uh, I think that's another one of these quite early bag seals that we've been finding a few of on here. Okay then. Come on, pajama party, get out of them uh, bull rushes. So this was kind of banging in at a 30, but the audio was far from ideal. Instead of being a nice tight dot on the screen, it was more of a splatter, but it was on the line, but splattered on the line. And I just wanted to dig it to find out. So I'm learning more and more. I think that would have been uh, possibly for splitting logs or something, I don't know. It's just a piece of an old buckle. So, like I said earlier, the, the fines don't jump out the ground in this field, but when you do get a hammy or something nice or a nice uh, relic, it makes it all the work more worth it that you've earned it. Yeah, you keep telling them that, Dad. Yeah, sounds uh, plausible, doesn't it? Oh, I've got to say something, Bunt. Bunty, we're on the buttons, mate. First button of the day. It's like a fairly early one. If I had to guess, I'd give that the best part of 400 years of age. What do you think to that, then, Bunter? Yeah, we didn't come out here <coughs> to find buttons, Dad. Well, it's all part of metal detecting, son. Another button bunter. Another flat button. 250 years old, possibly, that one. Nearly as old as Bunty. Well, I'm glad I come out today. I thought it was going to be too hot for old Bunter because... He don't do wind, he don't do rain, he don't do heat nowadays. He's just far too old. And uh, yeah, I've just got to enjoy having them, even if it means sitting in the house not being able to metal detect. I just love them that much. But no, it's uh, it's warm, but it's a nice breeze today. Small little lead bullet, but that was about six inches down. Bang, banged in on the mid-tone. Not quite sure what that's been off. But it's got uh, a bit of writing on it, something patent probably. Just doing that little leather mount there. Possibly late or post medieval. Maybe 1600s or something, don't know. Little old relic anyway. Where's the sun? Right, let's get a thumbnail for the video. Uh, this way, this way, that's it. Right, now, pull a face as if you've uh, just found something amazing. It's a funny old pigeon, is the bunt. It's, a, it's at past 12 now, he's not at nothing. But he's got his own little old dog's body clock, and he won't eat. It's a bit early for him, still at past 12. He likes playing with it when he don't eat. He's trying to put it to bed. <laughs> he just picked it up in his mouth then, but he won't eat it. He just put it to bed, look. Put it to bed. That's a good boy. Such is the life of the bumblebee. You've got a good little life, mate. I've got more chicken balls for you. I'll try you again in an hour. Well, I found a hammer, but it's not the best. It's not quite complete. But, you know, a hammer's a hammer, isn't it? There you go. <laughs> it's not even a hammered coin. <laughs> On to the next. I'll just pop some sort of little badge here. I'll give it a clean up and see what the writing's saying. It's got like a Viking ship on it. It's cool. I like it. Well... Oh. Something biscuits, it might be Crawford's, but I'm not, yeah. Might be Crawford's, because I know they're a biscuit manufacturer. But I'm not, not quite sure. But I like it. That's a little keeper. I'll straighten that up properly with a bit of heat in the house. I don't, don't want to force it out in the field and break it. 
I think that little bad says Gornford's Biscuits. I try Googling it. I do get a hit on Google, but then it takes me to other random biscuits. Uh, Gornford's Biscuits, I think. Julian Evan Hart, the editor of the Treasure Hunt ma magazine, says it might be Napoleonic era, as in ship's biscuits. <laughs> I got a fly on my wrist. Surface find here, Bunt. I reckon this is uh, an owl pellet. Oh yeah, look, you can see uh, a mice, a mouse's eyeball in there. Look, yeah, ugh, ugh. Found a sticker for the uh, old Equinox bunt. Never mind the buttons. Here's Anglo Celtic. I thought I'd lost the last few of them, but I found two in my car bunt on the mine lab. We ain't blowing none of that off, mate. It's all stuck. Uh, I could have told you that, Dad. Uh, what you, What are you making of today's outing, Bunt? It's uh, quite nice, like. We are out again digging buttons and we don't find much at all. But we like it anyway, sitting in the flowers, finding sod all okay so mikey's had a uh, medieval pot leg on the foot of one piece of pipe and some other bits yeah there you go mate flattened thimble flattened one flattened one quite quite rare to get a flattened one mate well done cheers oh no there's the other one i had oh i don't know that one no that's old mate did you have that today yeah that's medieval, that. Medieval. You've got a nice medieval BI thimble, mate. So I got my little keeper, but you got a proper old keeper, mate. Mm. That's not tap, that one. That's a proper medieval relic, mate. Well done. That pav had one as well off here. Well done, Mikey. Uncle. Right, Bunty. Uh, I'll take you home for some stew now. It's been at uh, Badges and Lucy's at the mill and they, they give us a load of food, bless them. Put that Viking shit there on my Viking axe for now. You'll thank me for it, Bunch. You will. I got some fish pie in the microwave. Fish pie is cooking, mate. Let's just clean you up, mate. Yeah. Not happy. Yeah. Did you throw that? You threw it, Mikey. I don't know. Come on from over there. Now. Was it? Was it him? I don't know. I reckon it was him over there. I reckon it was one of the Lily the Pink. Do you know why? Do you know why? <laughs> Do you know why it was Lily the Pink? <laughs> the scaffolders. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the Flabbery Social Club and Mikey is trying to uh, yeah, not, not lead me astray. Hey. <laughs> what, what is that there? You Jager them. And you're on sweat this one. That didn't quite go to plan. Oh my god, no. I got an enemy bomb. I got an enemy bomb. What did Puffy win? Fish bump badgie. Can you, can you shag on the first date? Guaranteed. I can't get a first date. Pickle egg challenge, viewers. We've got a jar full of pickle eggs. We've got a jar full of pickled eggs there, badgie. And they, they look nothing like you. Not yet. Uh, there's about there's about twenty in the jar. We're gonna see if I can eat this first one. You're not gonna do twenty. No, no man. Right. What you're you your challenge? The challenge is. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> to save the children. If I can eat 20 pickled eggs, I'll save many children. So Lucy's, Lucy's challenged me to save more children by eating pickled eggs. And don't worry, she, she got a bit arsey when I was taking a piss out of charity. All the money they raised is going to go to save the children. Absolutely. So we're going to do this. And Mikey's going to take over on Tuesday video. And I've already ate one egg. But that doesn't count because it wasn't in this, in this competition. That was the practice egg. Okay? So that was your practice egg. I haven't had one. And we're going to do this. I could never eat another one of them ever again. 